Hello and welcome to Pumping Up with Steve and Jeremy, the informative training program for the serious type 2 insulin pump user. Hello everybody and welcome. I am Jeremy. And I'm Steve. And we're here to pump, pump you up. up. We're talking about insulin pumps for people with type 2 diabetes yeah, today. Yeah, typically pumps are always talking about type it's 1 It's not diabetes. just for type 1 anymore, it's for type 2. <laughs> yeah, and that's what this dose yeah, is it's all for about. Type two. Oh. See, this is getting a little difficult. I think I'm a little hot in these suits. I, 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 need, I need a throat lozenge. Eric, can we just do it like in a normal voice? No problem, Can I just still wear these though? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so let's we, do it. We are here to talk about uh, insulin pumps in type 2 diabetes, it's not just about type 1 anymore. We talk about them in type 1 all the time, but honestly not enough in type 2. They're such a viable option for people with type 2 diabetes on insulin. Yeah, and they've been around for a long time. Type 2s have used them, but a lot of healthcare professionals just don't they think they're for type 2. And a lot of people with type 2 on insulin never crosses their mind. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it's the, the practitioner a lot of time. They think type 1s, they get insulin pumps, but type twos, no, they don't, you know, not deserve that, but that's going to confuse them, all that kind of stuff. So they don't, you know, do it. So what are some of the differences in yeah. type twos that we need to know about when it comes to pumps? Well, the, the cause of diabetes in type two, you know, it's complicated, but it's insulin resistance. They require a lot more insulin. So one of the characteristics of a good pump for type twos, it has a bigger reservoir. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's important, there's a thing called the natural history of type 2. When you first get diagnosed, you, you might be secreting plenty of insulin, but not enough to control your blood sugar. And over time, that amount of insulin secretory ability, right, you impressed, mm -hmm. goes down and you need more and more therapies, including insulin. So let's talk a little bit about the different types of pumps that are available to people with type 2. And really, it could be any pump, but there's certain ones that are geared a little bit more towards uh, type 2s. The Vigo is one that's been around for a long time. It has a set basal rate on it. You wear a patch every day. Every time you click it, it gives you two units of insulin. So a much more discreet way of delivering insulin. There's another one called the Simplicity. Yeah, Simplicity is just, uh, it's actually a little patch. It holds 300 units. And when you want to give yourself a bolus before meals, or just as a correction, bringing you down, you click it, gives you two units. Mm -hmm. So it, you still have to take a basal insulin if you need one. Some type twos, all they need is help with meals. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's quite convenient. You avoid being a pin cushion. Yeah, because that's the point. It's literally a pain to do the injections, to carry them around, to take them out at a restaurant, a vial and syringe. So this might be a way of you saying, aha, I actually can use insulin, especially when I'm outside of the house. And so ask your provider about it. Now, let's talk about this new pump. It's coming down the road. Okay, well, we should say that um, the Omnipod mm -hmm. 5 was approved for type 2 That's just true. a couple weeks ago, and so was the Invecta pump. And we want to really tell you about the newest features. Now, the Invecta patch pump is not available yet, but it's on the production line. doesn't even have an official name yet. Ooh. But it's basically a patch pump that holds 300 units, it can help give just a basal if that's all you need. It can help give just pre-meal boluses if that's all you need. And it also can give basal plus bolus. And you should explain how these pumps work where they use one type of yeah, insulin. Yeah, so if you're on insulin injections, you might be used to one injection as your basal and the other is for meal time. Well, on any kind of pump, it's only fast acting insulin, but it serves both purposes. So the fast acting insulin is dripped out slowly over time to give you your basal. And then when you need a bolus for meals, you can you know, do the clicks or tell the pump that you need more insulin. So again, it's one way of just the rapid acting insulin, Humalog, Novolog, et cetera, doing everything. If you have a normal pancreas, you're not diabetic, your pancreas secretes a little bit all the time mm -hmm. and little squirts when you eat meals. And you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, you're very lucky. <laughs> so it holds 300 units. It's a, a patch pump, so you fill it up from the bottom with an insulin and a syringe, that's it. You pull off little stickies like a Band-Aid and you can put it here, you can put it here, you can put it here. It does allow more flexibility and options for sites on the body. Mm -hmm. Then you have a controller, it's like a, it's like a cell phone that's not really a cell phone and it, it controls your basal rate, your bolusing. And when this Invecta pump comes out, um, it's not going to communicate with a CGM. That doesn't mean you can't wear a CGM with it because you want to get that data. But then it'll quickly transition to a automatic insulin delivery, what we call hybrid closed loop system. Yeah. 
And so, it, which just basically means that as your blood sugars start going up and give you a little bit more insulin, as they come down a little bit less. But there's, again, there's some features about this pump that anybody can use it, but it's just geared slightly more towards type two. And you, you mentioned this in the beginning, Jeremy, to be fair, every pump on the market that we have now could be used in type twos. Mm -hmm. That, you know, the Omnipod 5 and the Embecta, they are officially approved for type two. And since we are such an official organization and official workout guys, you know, we want to be official. Yeah. Last thing I'll say is if you have type two, make sure you maximize your other drugs first. Get on a, a GOP-1 like Ozempic. Make sure you've talked to your provider. But most type twos need insulin, so talk to them about a pump if you're on insulin. And you're gonna be an insulin requiring type two. Mm -hmm. You're not just converted to type one. Some goofball doctors say that, and uh, it's okay. Yeah. They try hard, but uh, you're, you know, your uh, therapies may change over time. That's important. Well, you know, Steve, since we have these on, can we do like a, an outro maybe in the voices? Again? Yeah, let, let's do it. Okay, um, so before I said welcome, now I'll say goodbye or something like that. Okay, ready? Um, you know, like, see you later and stuff, because I'm Jeremy. And I'm Steve. And we're here to pump you, you up. up. This has been Pumping Up with Steve and Jeremy. Thank you for joining us.